Locked in a prison yard with nowhere to hide, tear gas is fired, sending inmates running. The chemical was used a number of times across several yards as guards with dogs and batons moved in. They were called in after inmates began fighting. Residents nearby overheard guards repeatedly yelling at prisoners to lie down. But even if they couldn't see the trouble, they could feel it. I was sitting in the back, heard a few things, a few shots and stuff, and I uh, could smell something funny, like chemically, so my nose was burning. My eyes watered and my face went hot and itchy. I had a few kids over, actually. I had to take them down to another park because uh, they were saying that it was really hurting their eyes and throat. Extra prison officers responded as inmates in another two yards refused to follow directions. So more tear gas was deployed, again affecting neighbours. This is unusual. Unusual. I haven't had tear gas before. Not like that. That was a lot of tear gas. It's a southerly blowing, so it blew straight over our backyard. <laughs> That's coming again. Yes, you can taste it now. It's pretty accurate. One by one, inmates were patted down and led away until just one yard remained occupied. It appeared some prisoners chose to surrender, while others became political, sending a message about Indigenous deaths in custody. Corrective Services hasn't revealed who was involved in today's unrest. The jail houses both maximum and minimum security prisoners, as well as inmates on remand. Long Bay Hospital is also part of the complex, which treats medical and psychiatric cases. One inmate was taken to hospital after he was bitten by a guard dog. Officials say the prison brawl was drug-related. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.